I'm a sip, turn into a big ball. Now she see me getting rich, cause I'm about to take off. Yeah, my life is like a movie, this is only take one. Hey, and I ain't got no time for no one with fake love. I don't know, but I need something that's for real. She just want designer red bottoms in the hills, California. She just want the lime like go, go, digger. She gon' see me when the time's right. Yo, what is going on, guys? I'm the games here, back with another video. And today's video, we are going to be showcasing the STR rejects here in Dokkan Battle. So, we're a bit late to the uh, Heroes Awakenings and all that stuff. Um, I mean, really late to be honest, considering um, all the Heroes stuff is kind of be going to be irrelevant pretty much um, once the Androids come out tonight. So, I mean, I'm just trying to get this, uh, well, not even, it's tonight from recording this video. It's already going to be, they're already going to be out when um, this video comes out. So, eh, late, but it's kind of like, it's hard when the heroes still have to come out right when Legends stuff came out, and then also, um, but it just doesn't, it doesn't last long at all. Heroes last about a week, like, in the, less than a week, um, and then we have the new Dokkan Fest celebration, so it's it's very short um, a time period, so we don't really have much time to really show off um, any of the units and stuff. Well, some of that's our fault, too. We didn't get to like, um, do as many showcases as we wanted to, but anyway here, we are going to be showcasing projects here, even though we are a bit late, because this guy is someone that I actually think might be pretty good for long events. I think he's going to be a pretty good defensive unit for long events. Um, he was already a long event type of unit anyway, with the way he stacked defense, and he does the same now, obviously. They're not going to just take that off when he awakens, so he's still going to be a good um, stacker for long events, but now he's just going to be much better, because before he uh, stacked up really slow, because the starting defense is pretty low. Um, I don't know his starting defense at Rainbow is going to be, but I mean, starting off here, the defense is 80 ish K, so this is no support. So we'll have to see how fast it starts stacking up, but it can probably get good because this guy does also benefit from having, like, like so if the enemy is attacked down, um, if their defense down, if they're sealed or stunned, he can do an additional super attack, which is obviously going to be keeping him stacking. And I, I did get a dupe of him, so I, I am built, I built him a little bit to do uh, more additional, but one dupe for these STR and tech units and, and units usually isn't enough. You probably, you really want to have two dupes for this type of units, but I mean, beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, let's, let's begin here. Um, starting off, we got him first rotation. We are on the Dragon Ball Heroes team led by God Trunks. Um, never got to do um much with god trunks like more like we didn't we did a showcase um but we didn't get to do you know like super battle and all that but he is a very good unit um his leader skill is very good for this team so that's why i'm using him over super saiyan 4 vegito um so let's let's see what he gets here so linked up with the gohonks which is another unit i'd like to do a showcase on but i might not be able to because just time um but he shares a good amount of links he shares four links with them which is very good um it's probably because the reason he shares probably this many links is honestly because Gohonks doesn't have um, he doesn't have over in a flash for some reason, even as a super champion. It's weird, but I don't know. <laughs> they chose to build him like that. Uh, so we got to start off with two million attacks that um, pretty mid slash average for a hero's unit. It's not horrible, um, but nothing crazy. He is going to be stacking. Um, he also raises his attack for one turn, so that's why his attacks that went up there, but. Um, that's very good. As you saw, he did a crit there. That could have been hidden potential, but it probably wasn't. Oh, great. Of course, we got all the support type units on this rotation. Um, it probably wasn't the hidden potential. It was most likely his passive. He gets 10% crit chance every time he attacks up to 50%. So we can go do a 50% chance to crit, which is honestly really good. Um, this is an another reason why he's more of a longer event unit, because he has to like build that up a bit. But, I mean, getting two attacks there is really good for him. It means he's he's got already 20% chance to crit um, just from his passive alone. And then he'll get, obviously, he has his 10% chance to crit from his hidden potential. Those are two separate buffs, by the way. They're not, uh, they don't add up together. They're separate um, chances. But he does have both of those to him available. All right. Um, we'll probably keep it. We'll keep him with thing. Does he share? Yeah, he does share an extra link. Uh... Okay, I guess we just hope that Gohonks doesn't kill. Although Gohonks is quite good, man. I'm not gonna lie, Gohonks is quite good. Maybe this is a dumb decision, I don't know. His attack stats aren't that high, but he can 
do three super attacks. So, um, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Does he? Does he kill? He does do three. See, his attack starts jumping. Man, I love this Gohan's. Um, he doesn't kill though. Good, 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 good. All right, we can see what. Um, okay, Godron super attacks. Gohan's gonna take nothing from that because he raises attack and defense every time. Two point four there. Okay, not too bad. Um, he's slowly stacking up his defense too. Oh, I didn't get to look at that. Actually, I should have looked at that. Um, if I can stall, although it might not be possible. <laughs> Uh, we kind of got uh, kind of got shafted with the way the rotations ended up being, because we got all our support units in the bad rotation. Um, but if I guess if the God Trunkses don't crit, both of them don't crit, which is very unlikely. If they didn't, then we would probably be able to. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're finishing it then, because God Toa is gonna actually do some. Oh, not great damage because our attack that's not high but she does have boost in this Dokkan event so this is probably dead all right well let's go ahead and move on to a different team now uh we're gonna go ahead and move on to the Patara team and uh, see how he works over there Patara has been getting a little bit of buffs recently with like the tech count Leafla and you know these some of these heroes units like it's pretty good to see that they're getting some buffs especially with this android celebration looking future saga theme that they, they could probably be more so let's go ahead and look at um Vijex over there Alright, so we are on the Pitar team now, led by, well, okay, it's, it's a little weird. We're using Physical Kefla as our leader, and the friend is a Tech Vegito, because sometimes Physical Kefla is, like, she is the best leader for the team, definitely, but, you know, sometimes they're just not on the friends list, so I'm not going to try and search for her on the friends list anyway, but we do got 160% to stats by her and 150% to stats by Vegito, so, um, it's, 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 it's okay. So defense looking um, pretty much the same here, a little bit higher than before, um, linked up with Vegito. I, I think it's probably because of like, power bestowed by God and stuff. Um, that's the only thing I can think of off the top of my head. So uh, let's see what he gets here, just a simple rotation here. This team is was no support, so we're just going for a no support team now. Because uh, this is Jex, honestly, he does get a decent bit of attack from support. Oh, honestly, that's still really good though, 2.3, considering... Um, he doesn't have too many links active compared to before. Uh, that's not that's not too bad, actually. Um, okay, okay, I like that. I I I gotta make sure to look at his defense when we go into the next rotation here, so I can actually see if like how it's stacking. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna be to be honest. I mean, just the fact that he does stack is really good. Um, I hope it's not like incredibly slow it shouldn't be too slow because he does have a baseline of 120 percent attack and defense but i'm not completely sure i I'll, I'll just it's just something i'm gonna have to see straight up so i will see um hopefully it's not too slow it's like like enough like if he goes up to like at least like i'm not asking him to go from 80k to 100k like that's that's 20k in one super attack that's a little bit much right but if you could go up to like 90 something, that would be nice at least, because then that means stacking with him wouldn't be too horrible. What does it go up to? 100. It did go up to 100. Okay. Now he stacks really good, actually. Very nice to see. That's very good. 83k to 108. That's over 20k. You just. Wow. Okay. Never mind. Um, That's very good. Okay. Well, we're gonna see a, this the same attacks right here, so we'll, we'll get this. Um, next rotation will have a, a Tech Vegito. Um, Tech Vegito actually does link up decently well with this uh, Super, Super, Super Saiyan of Ajax, I believe, if I if I remember correctly. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think I um, I looked. I was looking at their links, and they link up pretty well. So. Actually, if possible, I'd like to kill here, which is probably easy to do. Um, you know, Vegito and all that. Vegito and Gogeta are still very offensive beasts. Um, honestly, I don't think I need to get a super attack for you. I'd much rather prioritize Kefla. She'll do way more um, damage than that AJ Vegito that is pretty fodder as an EZA in my opinion. He's like, he has his uses, but he's not uh, anything great. He was never anything great, so you can't even say that he fell off, because he was never on to begin with, to be honest. But, I mean, I don't want to, like, like, I don't want to say he's, like, 
horrible, but, you know, very unimpressive, I guess. I mean, look at the tax stat, right? <laughs> very unimpressive unit for an EZA that came out. It was last year, right? Just last year? Maybe it was the end of the year before. I don't know. But, I, I, I honestly, I don't remember when this guy EZA, to be honest. I know it was either last year or the year before. And if it was the year before, it was the end of the year before, definitely. I, I feel like... Let me see, last year? Mm, no, it probably was the year before. End of the year before. Yeah. Because last year was Eat the Gita stuff, so yeah, it wasn't last year. Alright. So... He doesn't link up well? I thought he did. Wait, what? Maybe he links up- Oh, he must link up better with the base one, because I did see that. Okay. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I, I was like, thinking he linked up well. I The one I saw that he linked up well was the base form. I just assumed he would link up well with the transform state, but Vegito does change a couple links. Yeah, he just changed. Like, he gets Super Saiyan, but then he gets Kamehameha, so... Eh, okay. Well, it's not as well as I thought it said, so it's literally just gonna be the same stuff over again. Well, alright. You're not gonna really get to see anything different from Vegex here on this team anyway, because I didn't really build this team for support. Not that the Patara team really has much support anyway, either, though, because Patara is, like, very, like, stale right now. Um, like I was, I was saying at the beginning of the video, they've been getting couple buffs recently, but it's nothing crazy. So, like, it's not, it's honestly not surprising that, um, there's no, there's not really, like, I mean, it, off the top of my head, I can't even think of, like, a, a support type unit for this team. Besides, like, West Kai and Supreme Kai of Time? Like, I can't really think of anyone off the top of my head. I don't have Supreme Kai of Time, otherwise I would have definitely used her, but I don't have her. Um, but yeah, I can't think of anyone else. Anyway, I guess we'll move on to... I was going to use a third team, but I actually think I'm going to scrap the team because it's not a very good team for this Vegex. I want to go back on Heroes, but then I want to go in a long event to let this guy uh, stack. And I want to see how well the stacking like actually carries so i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go into a long event let the guy stack and see um how well his defense holds up once we get later into the event and uh hopefully it's a good thing we'll, we'll, we'll see let's see let's see all right so we're going up the against the newest infinite history that came out with uh Camp khalifa and we're just gonna stack now now we're just now it's just mission stack his defense so we're gonna just stack up his defense and see how high it's getting and um throughout the course of the turns i'll just like i'll, I'll probably just like cut um through turns any like interesting turns i will cut to and uh just show them off every so often i'm not gonna show every turn because it just gets annoying and tedious but uh yeah i'll show off like certain turns for sure for sure starting off here 2.1 this is literally the same rotation we had um at the begin the first attacks of the video so nothing crazy does a double super there um, to stack up his defense twice, which is really good. Almost did a third super attack because the enemy was uh, was it the enemy was sealed, so he he, he has a chance to do the uh, additional. But he didn't get the uh, super, but um, still pretty nice to, to see at least he do, uh, see the ability activate. Right, it's good. Um, that's also three attacks, so he has a thirty percent chance to crit now. So um, that's very good. So, next rotation is going to be Pan, and then we'll probably skip a rotation, and then, um, then we'll, like, we'll go see him again, then we'll, like, go longer into the event and see how his defense stacks up. As a stacking unit, I mean, it's easily going to be really high, but we'll, we'll just keep, we'll keep watching it for sure. So, right now, 155k, yep, definitely a huge jump from, um, the 80k he started with, and he has a 30% chance to crit with whatever attacks that he's doing here. Support makes this guy definitely do a lot better, so I'm actually going to be interested to see um, what he does here. This this Gohonks is still amazing to me, like I was saying. Just doing the count, countless super attacks, raising his defense on each super attack, having the chance to crit. I mean, I don't know how much damage he's going to do. This might lower defense or whatever, I don't know. But he's going to tank this pretty well. But he should tank this pretty well, I, I assume. Oh, yeah, double digits. Yeah, sure. All right, 2.5 there. Okay. Not too, but uh, not too bad. He's still stacking up his defense, so that's a fourth hit, so 40% chance to crit now. Um, I mean, yeah, he's just—he's a very, very good defensive stacker for sure. He's just gonna be a really good unit um, to use in long events. So definitely a 
a plus from me, a thumbs up from me for sure. We're we're gonna keep, we're gonna cut and see a couple more turns though for sure. All right, so we got a turn with sup uh, with Supreme kind of time with um guard uh god dark guys tour. Okay, God, I can't speak today. Um, so we're gonna see what she is going to be doing. Um, 239k from Gohawks though. Wow, man, this Gohawks is good, man. <laughs> 184 from the the Jex, by the way. Uh. Really good. So that was, he went from 155 to 180 something. Like, think about that. Think about the jump in defense with one stack. Like, that's really good. Um, Gohonks, man, is still impressing me. Hopefully he doesn't kill because the Gohonks could just be critting and stuff. But, like, so he's like at 2.7, close to 3 mil. This is 2 dupes, Gohonks. And these, you can do 3 of these. And his defense is going to be so high. Man, this Gohonks is so impressive to me. I think he's just. I, I don't remember. I don't remember if the Go of the Go Tanks is just like this as well. But like that's like a very uh, like on, they feel like underrated units for sure. They feel like very underrated units. There we got his 50% chance to crit um, active by the way. Built that all the way up there. So uh, pretty good. Now we're gonna stack up even longer. We're just gonna skip towards the uh, not towards the end because I'm not gonna be sitting here this entire event that long. But definitely like long a, a while into the event. So uh, let me just stack up some more and uh, we'll see what they look like further into the event all right so we are much further into the event now at turn 11 so he's been stacking for the majority of this uh we haven't really gotten any double supers and there was one turn where he actually wasn't able to stack because we ended up finishing the enemy off quicker than i thought we were so um he was actually not able to stack i the only reason i didn't put him in the first slot was because i didn't want his um the enemy sealed I didn't want to make a sealed in the first slot, so I put him in the second slot, but then the other person, the Gohonks, ended up killing, so, oh well, but, um, 233k defense, so, I mean, he's, he's definitely just, like, he's, he's, he's gonna be good, right? I mean, you can't really go wrong with a stacking unit in a long event, that's, that's all there is. There's nothing, like, surprising to show, um, these stacking units are just always gonna look good in long events, because they're just able to stack up for so much, and... Once again, like, I just can't stop being impressed by this Gohonks, man. Like, I feel like he's just really good. Um, I don't know, man. He just, he just feels, like, so powerful. Like, his defense is over 200k. It was, like, 230k around the same amount as, uh, the Jex. And he's doing double supers, raising his defense each time. Like, that's pretty nutty. Um, let's see how much the Jex takes from this. I'm not sure how, like, hard these girls hit. Um, I haven't played this since it came out, and I honestly don't remember it at all. Oh, double digits, even though he lowered it, they lowered his defense, so that's unfortunate. But we'll end there, because, I mean, next turn his defense is going to be lowered anyway, so we're not going to be able to see a accurate uh, display of his defense anyway. But, man, very, very, very impressed with the two units. Um, even though this wasn't a showcase for Gohans, I feel like it was a good showing for him as well. Just showing how good he is as a unit, so... That is it for the showcase. Hope you guys did enjoy. The Jack seems really good to me. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.